Let's go. I see you got yourself a little cute, huh? <laughs> you got a job? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not like that. We are just friends. No job, huh? No. <laughs> What's good? What's good, everyone? Welcome back to the show recap with Mo. Well, I'm getting ready to introduce a new segment to this platform titled Mo with the 90s. Of course, I'm going to talk about some of the shows from the 80s as well, or possibly the 70s. But specifically for this segment, I'm going to focus on the 90s, right? Because there were so many great shows that came out in the 90s. You had Rock, you had Living Single, we had Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Moesha, the Wayne Brothers, Malcolm in the Middle. What else we had? Have, um, dang, um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. We had, um, what else? Sister, Sister. I really didn't watch that, but we did have it. Martin, of course, the Parkers. We had the Jamie Foxx show. And I'm like, dang, like we had a whole bunch of stuff going on during the 90s, right? So, with this segment, I just want to talk about some of my favorite episodes on specific shows. Now, if this is something that y'all want me to continue to do or sort of go through multiple shows or whatnot, we can definitely do that. So just let me know down below in the comments what we can do and we'll get into this thing, all right? So for tonight, for the premiere of this Mo with the 90s, man, we're going to get into one of my favorite shows from 1995, The Wayne Brothers. Now, I oh, don't know. Sometimes they can be super silly, but sometimes they have great material. And in this show right here, season five, episode number seven, titled The Kiss, was a crazy episode, right? Because we had, um, you know, the security guard lady by the name of D on this on the show. But her name in real life is Anna Marie Horsford. Now, if you know anything about her, she played in one of my favorite shows back in the 80s um, called A Man that starred, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they had a star cast, man. But we could talk about that one too because y'all know it sing along. Man, that thing. <laughs> My kids know that song. And it's crazy because one summer I was binge watching. And don't judge me, y'all, because I was binge, binge watching something from the 80s. But that's exactly what I was doing, right? One summer I had downtime and I watched it all the way through all the seasons. And I absolutely love that show. So I might drop a few episodes of that as well because there are quite a few funny episodes that I really enjoy watching of A-Man as well, the series. So anyhow... Getting back to the Wayne brothers. So on this episode, D, who's the security guard, hasn't had great success with finding good men. So she just had a bad breakup and Sean was trying to invite his younger brother Marlon out to this basketball game or whatnot. But Marlon isn't interested in going out to this basketball game because he's more focused on this video that he's trying to produce for world's you know funniest videos or whatnot so he can win $5,000. So his plan is to utilize Pops to make that happen. So when D shows up and she's sitting at her normal post, Marlon suggests that Sean go and ask, you know, D if she would like to go out to the game with him. And so Sean is like, okay, that sounds like a pretty cool idea. She seems like a cool girl to go out with, just to hang out with, right? Because right now he's not interested in her at all. So anyhow, long story short, she decides to go out with him to the basketball game. Now, Pops shows up and Marlon tells everybody in the room to get ready, get ready, right? So Sean and Dee are sitting off to the side. Marlon is sitting over here like, hey, Pops. So Pops turns around. He has this tray in his hand. Marlon throws a football at him, hits him in his groin. He drops everything. You know, Pops got on those white shoes, right? So he was like, oh, oh. <laughs> so everybody's excited. They laughing about it and all that good stuff. Pops is sitting over there hurting, grabbing himself, talking about as soon as I can uncross my eyes, I'm going to put my hands on you. He was like, oh, Pops, don't worry about it. We about to get paid. Pops is like, what you talking about, son? He was like, oh, man, we about to make $5,000. He was like, $5,000. So he starts to smile for the camera. The only thing is, Marlon has forgotten to remove the cap from the video recorder itself. And Sean points that out. Like, stupid. You forgot to remove the cap. So Marlon is like, look, we need to do it again, Pops. Pops is like, oh, no, we not. And as Marlon is going over here to pick up the football that he dropped, Pops is pulling off his belt. Now, y'all know Pops is known for taking that little white or light brown belt off 
doing his thing thing, right? So as soon as he's getting ready to strike Marlon from the back, all of a sudden, he pops him with the ball right in the groin again. And he was like, oh, Lord. So, <laughs> so this time, Sean is like, we still didn't get it. So we got to do it again. And then they go to the, the, the intro, which is a great theme song once again, just like we were talking about in the beginning, where he's talking about, we're brothers. We're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Give me a heart. Whatever they say right there. I never understood those words. Anyhow, <laughs> moving on from there. Next, we see um, Sean and Marlon behind the newsstand that Sean owns and Marlon works at, right? And, you know, Marlon is clowning him because he's like, oh, man, you really went out with D last night. And he's like, yeah, man, she was good. She was cool, man. She's a cool chick. As a matter of fact, I saw another side of her last night. And oftentimes, you know, when you hang out with people outside of work, you get to really know who they are. Because oftentimes when we're at work, we're not the same way. So that's what he meant by that. Like, I got to see another side of D. She was a cool chick to hang out with. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to a concert with her later on that night, right? And Marlon is like, for real, like, she got to hook up with one of the security guards or whatnot. And Sean is like, no, actually, you know, Missy owes her a favor because she got Missy out of some trouble or whatnot. So since she's in town, D is going to be there and she's going to give her some free tickets so she can come with one plus one, right? So he was like, all right, that's cool. So going on from there, later on that night, we see where Sean and D are hanging out backstage or whatnot, waiting on Missy Elliott to come out. So he's finally able to meet Missy Elliott and he's fanning out right now. Like he can't believe his eyes. He's seeing one of his, you know, greatest entertainers at that time, right? Mr. Mina Elliott with the finger wave, you know, the, the, the plastic bag, the trash bag on that, that Missy Elliott, right? With the freaking, freaking, freaking. And he was doing, <laughs> he was doing all of that on that episode, right? So they were going back and forth and just enjoying each other's company. D was trying to calm him down because he was fanning out like I stated before. So anyhow, long story short, they enjoy the show. Um, actually, Missy Elliott points them out, her home girl from back in the day, talking about she got her cougar gang going on right now. Like, she got a little, nice little young stud that she working with over here. Now, they so look it up at this point. They don't, they don't really know what's going on. They don't know what's being said. They, they just enjoying the concert. Long story short, they end back up at the apartment complex. Now, D has to carry this man up the steps, which is crazy because he's like, thank you, D, for, for carrying me up the steps. I'm like, <laughs> so anyhow, she carries him up the steps. And Sean is sitting here like, now that I got you home, now let me go ahead and get home. D is like, hold on, boy, this is your crib. And it's like, what? <laughs> so he tore up from the floor up, y'all, both of them, right? So anyhow, they both end up in his apartment. And, you know, for some reason, you know, one thing leads to another. And he comes in, he hits the stereo, you know, the old school stereo that we used to have back in the 90s where you had the huge speakers and all of that stuff. Like, it was a given that you had those speakers, man. Like, you were not doing it if you didn't have that, that huge system over there in the corner with those huge-ass speakers, right? So, anyhow, he comes in, he hits that, that soundtrack over there. You got some music playing in the back. And he goes towards the kitchen to get some, you know, some libation or whatnot. So... D is like, oh, Sean, you got to come and dance with me because that's my jam right there. And he was like, oh, that's your jam. So anyhow, long story short, he comes over there and he, you know, they they slow dragging and whatnot, as they like to say. And then he he all up on her. She all up on him. He talked about, damn, D, you smell good. She was like, it's been gay. And he, <laughs> and he was like, ooh, that smell good. So anyhow, long story short, as they dancing along, as we close together, the next thing you see is them kissing. And all of a sudden, it's the next morning, and they laying in the bed together in the living room, right? On Marlon's bed. <laughs> Not on Sean's bed, but on Marlon's bed. And here comes Marlon talking about, it's morning. And I was like, <laughs> I said, no, he ain't. And then this man had the audacity to say, man, it smells like burnt porcupine meat up here. <laughs> So they was like, oh, man, where my drawers? Where my... No, we didn't do that. Yes, y'all did. That's, that's what it looks like y'all did, all right? So we cannot excuse the fact that both of y'all were in the, you know, in the, in the sofa bed together, 
All right? So anyhow, he comes in and he's like, y'all good? Go about y'all merry way. When he's talking to Sean, his brother after D done left, he told him like, look man, ain't nothing gonna change between me and D. We're gonna be good. We're good friends. We were good friends before then. We're gonna be good friends now. So everything is gonna be straight. But when they get back to the workplace later on that day, neither one of them wanna be around each other. Nobody wants to have eye contact. None of that, right? Specifically Sean. Sean tries to tries to avoid her at all costs. But D is like, look, we need to get past this. You know, I'm sad that it happened. It is what it is, but you know, we gotta get past it if we're gonna continue to work together in the same location, in the same place, right? And Sean is trying to do everything possible to avoid that conversation. As a matter of fact, when Dee comes over to talk to him about the situation, he acts as if he hears Pop calling his name from the kitchen. So she was like, look, look Sean, we need to talk it out. He was like, what, what you say? What, what you say, Pop? Oh, okay, I'll be right there. She was like, I didn't hear nothing. He was like, well, I did. And then he, <laughs> then he runs off, right? And she was like, damn, like, let's just have this conversation, right? And from there, it just gets crazier. So from there, Sean goes to speak to Pops about this whole situation over in the diner or whatnot. And Pops is like, look, your friendship should be stronger than a one night stand. So y'all really need to have this conversation and get past it. But the whole situation that he's telling him as well, that you guys obviously have feelings for one another. So you definitely need to address that as well, right? So anyhow, Sean sees a, a, a bottle of glue on the table and he asks Pops like, what's going on with this glue? So Pops tells him that, hey, I know Sean is trying to make this money over here with these funny videos or whatnot. So he was like, I decided to take some of this glue right here and stick it on one of these seats around here. I don't know which one it is, but um, I'm gonna get him and I'm gonna record him getting up, trying to get up from you know the seat with the glue on it, right? So anyhow, long story short, with him forgetting which seat he placed the glue on, Pops actually sat on the seat with the glue. So when he gets up out of the seat, he's asking Sean, does he feel a breeze? And they like, hell yeah, we see a breeze coming <laughs> through the back of your britches, bro. And he said, as a matter of fact, we see those leopard print drawers that you got on. And he's like, hold on, wait a minute. Are those mamas? <laughs> he said, ugh, daddy, that's nasty. So go, going on from there, we head back over to Sean and Marlon's crib where we see Sean is, you know, waiting for D to come over so they can have this, you know, this conversation about what went down the previous night or whatnot. He got the tissues ready and all of this good stuff. Marlon is like, so what you got the tissues for? And he was like, just in case you bust your nose or whatnot, because they know how D get down, right? And he was like, no, it's not going to be all of that. We just, we just going to focus on what we need to talk about, and we're going to be done with it. And he's like, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to tell her it's me. You know the normal line. It's, it's not you, it's me, right? You know, and then so when D comes over, you know, Marlon leaves or whatnot, but when she comes over, you know, um, she says to him, like, let me just go ahead and say what I need to say first. And he was like, cool. So she says, look, let me go ahead and get this off my chest. And let me just say it this way. Last night was one of the most amazing nights I've ever had in my life. Um, but unfortunately, I, I don't think that we should have sex anymore, right? And he was like, so what do you mean, D? Like, was it not good for you? So I was like, hold on, wait a minute, Sean. Like, you were supposed to be hard in this, but you getting all emotional. <laughs> he seemed <laughs> he see, like he was so much more attached than he was when he was talking to his, you know, to his brother Marlon. So now he's talking about like, was I not good enough for you? Was it not good to you? And uh, and <laughs> so now she was like, no, it wasn't that. You know, I just, I don't remember anything, but I also know that it was great and I, I cherish our friendship more. So anyhow, long story short, Marlon comes in and Sean is sitting up here trying to tell her the very same thing that she was telling him or attempting to tell him. Marlon comes in and is like, oh man, we got to turn on the TV because he submitted a video to the funny video challenge or whatnot, right? For $5,000. So anyhow, they're looking at it and he doesn't win. But as a runner up, it shows his video, and it just so happens to be a video of him in their apartment, right? With D and, and Sean, his brother, passed out. So he puts them on the sofa bed. He puts lipstick on and kisses all over Sean, his brother, like on his shoulder, on his cheek, on his forehead, and all of that good stuff, right? Then he 
goes and pick D up, but he can't really pick D up all the way without some assistance. So he goes and gets some brothers from another um, apartment or whatnot, like two or three more dudes come in and they pick her up and put her on the sofa bed, right? So all of a sudden, you know, he got them all up under the covers and all of this good stuff. And then the next thing you know, they find out that they never got with one another. It was all a prank. It was all publicized on television, on national television, but it never happened. It was not real. And Sean was like, hold on, bro. You put all of this stuff together? And he was like, yeah. And Sean is like, why did you do that? He was like, remember what you told me back at the newsstand? You told me that I would never be able to produce one that would come close to winning that $5,000. And he said, I did. And I used you and I used D. So anyhow, he was like, so you didn't win no money? He was like, no. It was actually one where somebody was throwing a football and somebody hitting him in the groin like the one that he was doing with Pops early in the show. So I was like, dang. <laughs> so anyhow, that's pretty much the end of the episode, y'all. I hope that y'all enjoyed it, man. As you can tell, it was real quick. I mean, it's a sitcom, so it's about 25 minutes of video that I'm watching, so I can really drop these very quickly, man. So with that being said, make sure to leave a comment down below to let me know how you enjoyed it. Do you want me to continue to do some shows like this? I got Martin coming up. I got one with Living Single. I got some other shows coming up as well. So let me know your thoughts down below with that being said make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss shit snip that's going down i'll talk to y'all soon peace